Hey guys, welcome back to Perky Tomato, and today I am going to be showing you guys how to make this DIY a miniature typewriter for 18 inch models. Now, this is so cute. I just got to making this. Like, you can even put your own paper in, you can have it say whatever you want. There's little buttons you can press. It looks super realistic, and um, yeah. So, if you want to know how to make this, make sure you just keep watching, and yeah. So, let's go! Also, I forgot to say that this typewriter is inspired by Kit's typewriter right here that you can actually buy from AG, but um, it's just a lot cheaper. <laughs> okay, the things you are going to be needing to make this craft are some paperboard, and you can get this from any cereal box or cracker box, some thick cardstock or watercolor paper. Here, I just have some watercolor paper. Um, you are going to be needing a hole punch, preferably a handheld hole punch because it's like the right size. Some paint, I'm using black acrylic paint and silver metallic paint. A paintbrush, a black thin marker like this, several toothpicks, scissors, and this template. Um, I made this template and it's going to make your life way easier when making this craft. So I'll leave this in the description box so you can just print it off. You're also going to be needing a hot glue gun and Frederick the Bear. Wait, what? What? First thing you're going to do is print off the template in the description box below and then you're going to cut out all of these pieces very carefully and try and do it along the lines. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut out like so. Now grab your paperboard and trace all of your template pieces onto it. Remember when tracing your pieces to take your time and carefully trace it so it turns out good. So I have all my pieces traced onto here and also I traced the side part twice just like this so um yeah make sure you do that. You need to have two sides. Next we're just going to cut out all these pieces that we just traced onto here like this. Okay easy right? Right. Plug in your hot glue gun, grab your base piece and hot glue on one of the sides like this then glue on the other side and cut off the ends if they're a little bit too long. Then hot glue on your front piece. Next you want to glue in this little divider piece thingy here and if it's a little too long you can just trim it since it's just a little long here. So you want to glue in your divider piece right here, right here. So then I'm going to glue on my back piece right here. But hold up, don't glue on the top piece yet. Also I'm just going to take my little nail file here and I'm just going to kind of sand the edges just a little bit to kind of just make them more rounded and yeah. Next you just want to paint this entire thing black. So once you have a nice even black coat of paint on your typewriter, soon to be typewriter, you're going to dry brush a little bit of silver paint. So what dry brushing is, is where you get a little bit of paint on your paintbrush, just a tiny bit, and swirl it around, and then, um, here, let's try that again. You basically just, just lightly dust it onto there, and it makes it look like old fashioned. So now we're going to make the little buttons on our typewriter. So we're going to start off by taking um, our toothpick and cutting off the ends of it, like the sharp part. Okay, then I cut my toothpick about that tall, and you can like probably get two of these things out of one toothpick. And then I'm going to just glue it in to right here, and we're going to make ten of these across in a row. So I tried gluing all ten of these in a row, and they are just way too um, squished together, and so I'm just going to glue five in a row. Okay, so I glued in my ten toothpicks in rows of five. I think that's the best like um, thing, like rows of five, about this far apart. And now I'm cutting this small little rectangle out of paperboard. It's going to be my space bar, but I'm going to glue a little piece of cardboard under it first to give it some leverage, leverage like this. And then I'm just going to glue it in place right at the front here. Then I'm going to cut a few more toothpicks and glue it in. I think I can, I think I can fit like one more row of toothpicks in here. Definitely not going to be able to fit the whole alphabet on here, or even like all the numbers, so, um, I mean like numbers and alphabet, so yeah. So I got my toothpick pieces glued in, and also if you notice, um, the third row that I made, I actually made the toothpicks a bit shorter, so it kind of looks like, um, like it's going up, kind of. Cool, okay, cool. Next, we're just going to paint this whole thing black, like the bottom, since we tore off the piece, and all of the toothpicks in between. Make sure to be careful, though, that you don't like break the toothpicks off. Quick side note, the toothpicks are not as delicate as you would think. Okay, so I painted everything black and I have a total of 15 little button thingies and a space bar, so, uh, yeah. Alright, so since I have 15 little toothpick thingies, I'm going to grab my hole puncher and my, um, watercolor paper and I'm going to punch 15 of these little hole things. And basically what I'm going to do with these is, um, take the little hole piece and then I'm going to glue it on to here so it can be like a little button and I'm also going to write like a letter on here, so yeah. Okay, so I have 15 of my little hole punch thingies, and since um, the alphabet has 26 letters, I can only fit 15 letters, but that's okay. I'm just going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. 
So once you have your little letter circle things, you're going to start gluing them on each little peg like so. I'm going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I only got to O, um, which is sad, in the alphabet. Also on the typewriter, I didn't do the cordy way. Um, sorry about that, but I, I just didn't. And now I just painted this straw silver. I'm going to let this dry. Now while that's drying, I'm going to glue on my top piece, but um, as you can see, it's a little too long, but that's okay. We can just cut it a little, and um, we don't want to cover this uh, lip thing right here that we made. Okay, that should work, and then I'm just going to glue it on. Then I'll just paint this top piece black. I also dry brushed this top piece, and I painted this space bar white because I feel like it matched the buttons a lot better. So now, my straw has finally dried, so I'm going to put it right in this little notch that I made right here on both of them as you can see and my straw can just fit right inside of there and I'm just going to cut off the end. You need to grab yourself a bobby pin or bobby pin. Look like this, it's a hair thingy. And you're gonna put it in your straw like so, just like this. Is grab a piece of paper like doll size and put it in between there like so. And then what you can do and kind of bend it and you can just place your straw into there like that and it looks like it's actually typing you can also like print some words on there so you can write something on your paper put it between the bobby pin <laughs> put it between the bobby pin like so and your straw and then just bend it and just it pops right into place on your typewriter and as some extra detailing i just hot glued on these little decorative buttons that i got from michael's all right guys that is basically it i really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you make this typewriter it was pretty easy to make like um it wasn't that hard at all and um it's very simple i think this is super cute um let me know what you guys think in the description box down below and if you enjoyed the if you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe comment down below because i love tackling you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye enjoy the video watch my hair subscribe and like the video and most of all share the channel i'm eating chips by the way